Jesus said, I am the bread of life. I am the bread of life. Jesus also said, and I, when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself. Tonight, Jesus invites us to draw near, to draw near the cross, to draw near Jesus. Jesus Christ is God's greatest gift offered to us, even when we fall, when we miss the mark, when we intentionally forget about who God is and this great gift that he has given us. God is still there. God never forgets us. And tonight, we remember the extent of God's love. We remember his son given, sacrificed for our sins. Tonight, we remember Christ's great love for us, his life not taken but given, his sinless life, taking on the sin of the world, taking on my sin, taking on your sin. And he, along with our sins, is nailed to a cross. Jesus emptied himself that our joy might be full, that the hungry might be fed, that the sick be healed. Jesus ate with the scorned and forgotten. He washed the disciples' feet, and he gave this holy meal as a pledge of his abiding presence. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, Jesus gave birth to the church and delivered us from slavery to sin and death and made with us a new covenant by the water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself to us, he took bread, gave thanks to you. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when the supper was over, he took the cup. He gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples, and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ offering for us. As we proclaim the mystery of faith, Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now with the confidence of children of God, join me in praying. <clears throat> 